What's up YouTube, this is Prince with ATP 101 and in this video I'm going to do a quick overview of iOS 6 and this is my iPod Touch right here running on iOS 6.0 so if I go to general about scroll down right there there you go right there the version 6.0 and I'm going to start off by going through settings and show you guys some new features right here it says do not disturb that's a new feature that just came out and I did a tweak on this on iOS 5 and I said it was going to be in um, iOS 6 and actually happened. Now the developer did. And there it is. Do not disturb. So that's one of the first one. So basically you could like, set that up and so you don't get calls or anything. And you could even edit it so you get calls from certain people. I mean, that's the first one. And if I go down right now, you see the brightness and the wallpaper bar is in the same thing. It's not too separate anymore. So I could adjust your brightness right from right there and your wallpaper and there's two uh, three new wallpapers right here got that one that was actually leaked out a while ago but yeah they're in there now let's go back and down here we got the privacy basically it could private your contact you like this a whole bunch of stuff you got right here all these right here you could set them up so that they're private and you scroll down right now you see right here you got Twitter and Facebook Facebook is just came out in iOS 6 so now there's fully Facebook integration in iOS 6 which I don't even remember my password I was gonna log in and show you guys but I don't even remember my password for Facebook so yeah that's the first that that's the first couple and let's exit out of here and let's go back in for a little bit right now you can see right up top right here you got a nice little UI going on, like the nice little teal blue, teal, teal. That's the that's a color. Yeah, teal. That's real nice. They switch that up a little bit. Let's exit out. And there's no new, only new app right now is Passbook. Basically, it's got like your um your boarding passes, tickets, store cards, coupons, all saved in like one app instead of several different apps. Everything is in one app. So that's real cool. Let's exit out, go back to the desktop. And if I go to the App Store, the App Store kind of is different. Let's wait a little bit for everything to load up. Now you see it got grids right there. Now you look at that, the App Store is a little bit different. It's not that regular App Store like we had in iOS 5 or the previous App Stores before. This one is a whole new, whole new setup. And when you do download an app, like I'm gonna download one right now, just download this one. Like, but it's kind of buggy though. This is iOS. This is the first build, so it's kind of buggy. You could get like raided. You could do all that stuff. Tap on it, and whenever you download the app when it downloads it shows you it has a new banner across the app like when it first gets onto the to the springboard but it's real slow right now it's real buggy let's tap on it again and see if it let me install it and you could see it doesn't log you out when you download the app so I'm gonna put in my password let me put in my password real quick So it should start downloading in time now. But it doesn't log you out. You see it's downloading while it's right there. It doesn't log out and go to the springboard. So that's real cool. And if I exit out. When it's done downloading, it's going to say new. Like on it. Come on, come on, come on. I don't have all day. So let me show you guys another app in, in picture right now. And if you go to your pictures, go right there, and you click the share button. Now you got this new little grid right here. You could mail, Twitter, Facebook, 
a sign of contact print copy are used as wallpaper so that's new and that's kind of awesome see that right there now it has that new banner because it just downloaded so that's a new feature and if you got this is the new notification center I still got the boring linen background but if you set up your Twitter because it has Twitter and Facebook integration if you set them up you will have them right here if you if I had Twitter set up I mean Facebook it would split and it'd have Twitter on the right Facebook on the left or vice versa and I could just tap vice versa just tap on it and I just tap on it it will just pop up and then I could send a tweet or update Facebook so that's real cool and also the weather app has a little bit see that it's new that's not the iOS 5 version or the previous version so that's real cool I really like it it got that nice little it looks real great it looks real nice so I like that and let's see what else and uh, in the mail even though I don't have it hooked up you have pull the refresh like you could pull the refresh your mail that's real cool I really like that and so this is my iPod I don't have iOS 6 on my phone yet and if you have it on your phone you got a new Siri the whole Siri is different now you could have ask it more as questions Siri could actually launch apps and you could ask it like stats on sports just find me a restaurant what movie is this actor played in all that stuff and it will just just do it so no longer will have to jailbreak to launch apps and all that stuff Siri does it now and yeah and now the new maps this is not Google Maps anymore guys Google Maps is done with Apple got rid of Google Maps now they created their own map and it's pretty cool let it load up I know you got like drive by, like turn by turn direction with this right here. It's like Siri with talking to you and you just driving along, and that's real cool. They even have this one called I think airplane mode where it shows you like you're flying over like buildings and stuff. Now you have the 3D and all that. Cancel that. And I don't know why it's not showing up right here, but I don't know. Maybe it's got to be on the phone or something. It was showing up at first, but but yeah, this is the new map, guys. It's way better than Google Maps because you couldn't find anything on Google Maps. And this Apple totally does does blew Google Maps away with this one. They just bought a new company and just created their own. But yeah, guys, that's pretty much it for iOS six and. Yeah, it's kind of buggy right now. It's kind of slow, but this look at that. You see that? That's really nice. In the background of the settings, you got like a little linen, not really linen, but lines, and it's real cool. Yeah, guys, that's iOS 6, and I make more videos on this. If I missed anything, tell me in the comments. And it's Prince Today TP 101. Rate, comment, and definitely subscribe for more videos like this. And peace. Thanks for watching.